All right, so guys, I'm out here at Collins Lake this morning. If you saw um, Cal's video that was posted this morning, he talks about our new boat. I'm out on it this morning. It's been in the water. We have it slipped here at Collins, so this is kind of home base for us for a while. I'm doing something a little different this morning, though. Um, I'm out here solo since the boat was already in the water and uh, super easy access. I went ahead and came out by myself because I had a couple hours to burn today and I wanted to try something different. When Cal and I were here a couple days ago, brought the boat out, we did a quick pass of the lake, kind of see the lay of the land. And um, we were speed trolling, we had a bunch of big gear in the water and we had a bunch of marks down low, we saw a bunch of bait. I have some waypoints I was gonna go track down today. But this morning, really my tactic um, was to come out and, and troll slow. I really felt like um, I see some active fish and I see some marks on the screen, but I don't think they're moving around a whole lot. So I really came out um, looking to do a slow troll. So I got the trolling motor in the water. I'm using the electronics in the trolling motor to set a course and a speed, and it's just tracking along at the depth I told it to, so I don't have to steer or drive or worry about any of that. I can focus strictly on our gear. And um, that's a really awesome feature when you guys come out and fish with us that we can actually spend our time talking about fishing and focusing on the fishing rather than kind of maneuvering the boat and spending all our time doing that. Um, so I, I wanted to play with all of that today and make sure it was dialed in and set up, which it is. It's working flawlessly, which is awesome. Also set up a couple new camera angles on the boat, playing with that, and uh, you'll see those when I when I post this. But I had a, I wanted to use complimentary lures on a slow troll tackle wanted to make sure that I was uh, you know stuff ran the same speed worked at different depths and was complementary to each other I don't want a magnum trigger spoon on one rod going 1.5 miles an hour and a you know rolling a worm on the other it just doesn't work very well so I have a trigger spoon junior and orange out on the lead core it's got two and a half colors of lead out it's probably 20 feet down give or take um, at this speed it's close to 20 feet and then I picked up on my way out the door one of our grub kits this morning and uh, was really gonna dedicate the day to the grub and so I have a grub on the downrigger I ran it down to 50 feet where we marked a bunch of bait the other day and I started at that I wanted to start there at that depth still marked bait today and I thought I had a bite so I went ahead and brought it up a minute ago and I had a fish follow it all the way to the boat um, I don't know what depth that fish was when it picked up when it started following but I decided I'm gonna cut the depth in half and run the downrigger about 20 feet deep now so um, I'm fishing really the top third of the water column which um, I'm not a hundred percent sure that's the most productive so I'm gonna try it for a while and see what I get but having a follower that's positive um, that gives me a lot of confidence in the gear I have out and the method I'm using so I'm gonna stick to it a while and see how it goes and uh, hopefully you'll get to see me net a fish here solo in a few minutes all right guys so this one's on the grub I dropped it back down to about 40 feet and uh, I think I hooked up oh yeah fish on Now when I'm solo, this is a little bit more challenging. So I am going to uh, get the net ready and I'm gonna loosen my drag a whole bunch because normally I just tell you guys, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, but I can't do that. So I'm just gonna loosen up my drag a little bit. Don't think it's a huge fish. It's not bad though, it might even be a little bass actually. It wants to get over in the... Oh yeah, nice little spot. All right, well, you know what? It's not the species I was going for, but man, it's a fish in the boat and he's substantial in size for, for uh, what we're doing today. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let me, uh, let me get my stuff all entangled here. Man, he took it too. He liked that grub. You know, that's kind of one of the fun things about being out here is uh, there's multiple species. You know, we can definitely catch bass. Trolling for trout is a bycatch. And uh, there's some pretty good catfish down here too. And the grubs for the and for me in the past have been pretty good on the crappie bite um, if you find them. So nice little bass, nothing wrong with that. It's a fish in the boat. I'll take it on a beautiful morning out solo. See if... Uh, Get him back in the water, he's bleeding a little bit, but I think he'll be all right. Cool. So take a second and show you what I'm running. This is just one of our fisheye dodgers. I grabbed yellow. Um, I just wanted something bright, chrome on the back, color on the top, and uh, you know, two times the length of the dodger. I'm running 
one of our firecracker grubs. It's just a clear grub with the blue and red speckle in it. And, um, you know, fish on. We'll take it. The Pro Double Dodger. It's deadly, it's versatile, and in terms of Dodgers, it's the best value on the trout and landlocked salmon market, bar none. Get your four Dodger set today at fishhuntshoot.com. All right, so I'm on my last pass this morning at Collins. It's good to be about noon. Um, sun's pretty high, the clouds have kind of blown out. But uh, recap on my day. I, you know, I started off, I came out here, I wanted to fish grubs. I matched them with um, a Trigger Spoon Junior, targeting a 1.6, 1.8 mile per mile an hour range, and uh, just staggered them in the water column and ran all over the lake today. And I only had the one good, I only put one fish in the boat. That was the bass I caught early this morning. Um, when I came back across the lake after going up the narrows a little bit for a while, um, decided to make one more pass across the lake and, uh, and right down the middle in, the, in kind of the channel. And uh, I see marks on the bottom. Um, right now, even I'm looking at the screen, and uh, there's pretty good marks, uh, you know, pretty consistently right at 55 to 60 feet deep. So I put on a trolling fly um, and dropped down that deep, and then had a grub on the other rod and went down um, to about 45 feet, and uh, immediately had a really solid whack on the grub. Um, it missed, it didn't stick, and when I brought it up, the, the grub was pretty shredded. So um, that was a pretty solid, solid strike that just didn't stick. Um, I had another hit right at the dam when I turned around on the trolling fly again just five feet off the bottom So um, those fish are down there. I, I'm pretty sure those were trout It's not uncommon to catch to catch the bass suspended with the trout But when they're down the head hugging the bottom like that, I'm pretty confident that that was a trout bite um, But they didn't stick and that's okay, but man this lake is about to pop, you know, the, the weather just changed this week um, we've had a few days now where, you know, 75s, low 80s for the high. The water temperature on the surface is right at 70 degrees, which is what um, the staff here has been waiting for at Collins to start their plants. And um, that should start here in the next week or so. So I'm going to continue to come out here and, and keep pounding this and chasing the fish around. One of these days, very soon, it's just going to erupt and it's going to be lights out fishing for some, some pretty solid window in the morning and probably in the evening as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you're looking for a place to go hang out, bring the family, man, this place is awesome. There's still, it's low, but there's still quite a bit of water in the lake and um, it's only a matter of time before, before the fish start cooperating better than they have this week. But I have all the confidence in the world that um, we're gonna pull some pretty awesome fish out of here. And I can't wait to get some of you guys on the boat with us to check this out. The boat performed flawlessly today. We've got it dialed. Um, I think we're ready to, to start inviting some folks to hang out with us on the boat and kind of see how this works and uh, move our whole school of fishing school, um, you know, program out on the water, help you guys get dialed, on, dialed in to catch more and bigger fish like we try to every day. It just didn't work out today, but it will really soon. So uh, stay tuned for that and we'll have more very soon.